Welcome to part two of A Seller's Guide, Mastering Staging in New York City. I've been in the business for 15 years, and I can tell you that staging is one of the most important things about positioning a home and getting the highest amount of money for it in the shortest amount of time. And the quality of staging is getting better and better, and the prices are becoming more affordable to be able to get staging that back in the day, 15 years ago, was actually quite expensive. One of the most important things that staging does in New York City is that it removes bulky furniture, it helps with decluttering, and it uses mirrors and strategic pieces of art on walls to make the home feel larger, the ceilings feel higher, and in general, make it more inviting for a buyer. One of the other things that staging does is it neutralizes and depersonalizes your home. And that means it can't feel too personal. You need to have neutral pieces so that buyers can walk in and they can say, I can quiet myself from the noise because this home has a neutral, low key feeling and I can see myself living here. Another super important aspect of staging is getting your home ready to stage. And that means investing in minor upgrades so that your home feels finished. There are so many buyers who are detail oriented, especially the ones with a lot of money that pay up for property. They're the ones that notice what's going on. They notice the little details that are off and their offer is usually reflective of how turnkey they believe your home is. And if that's not the case, you wouldn't want to lose out on a buyer because you didn't make a few small fixes that would have been super easy and super inexpensive to do. One of my last points about staging is to remember that the stagers have really upped their game over the last 10 years. So working with a professional stager is something that you definitely have access to. Somebody who knows how to make sure that the experience is going to be seamless, that the furniture that they put into your home is going to fit the space correctly, and that it's going to be executed for perfect photography is within the realm of possibility. So make sure that you get out there and you interview a couple of stagers, find out how many jobs they do per year, and enlist one that you feel like can really work on the kind of home that you have, the same price point, the same size, so that you're getting the best bang for your buck and the experience is gonna be top notch. Thank you so much for watching all of my tips about staging a home, especially in New York City. If you liked this content or have something to say, please share, like, subscribe, comment below. I want to hear from you about what you think about staging and if you use the stager or any other content you'd like to hear about because I have a lot to say about so many topics related to real estate.